Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Cindy Sexton. A Heritage High School long distance runner collapsed at a meet on Friday. Doctors say 16 year old Hunter McCrary suffered sudden cardiac arrest. Channel 3's Jake Chapman caught up with Hunter's family this afternoon. He's recovering in the hospital. Jake joins us in the studio. Jake, how is Hunter doing now? Well, Greg, Hunter is doing great and is expected to make a full recovery. I sat down with his mother, Carly, this afternoon at Erlanger Children's Hospital. She says how Hunter survived a sudden cardiac arrest is simply a miracle. Whatever makes it happy. Hunter McCrary is a sophomore who runs track at Heritage High School. He was running at a meet at Calhoun High this past Friday, but the most unexpected thing happened. He said um, Hunter just finished his race, his, his one mile, and um, collapsed at the finish line. His mom wasn't at the meet when this happened. Trainers on site say Hunter's heart had stopped beating. They had to use a defibrillator to shock his heart. And within minutes, it was beating again. It's a fast action by the trainer having the AED on site. Um, it shocked him and it, and it shocked his heart back in the room and the AED is what saved his life. Hunter was flown to Erlanger. Doctors say Hunter suffered sudden cardiac arrest. His mom says Hunter has run tougher races before. It's scary. We had a normal day. Got up. I talked to him for about two o'clock before the race. Told me he um, was headed to the race on the bus and everything was fine. Bell says if this isn't a miracle, she doesn't know what is. There could have been plenty of things that went differently, but they didn't. And we're just thankful that they worked out the way that they did. I don't even want to think about it makes me sick to think about them, something going differently. Now Hunter is expected to be out of the hospital tomorrow. His mom says Hunter is going to take it easy and not run track for the rest of the season. Hunter didn't want to talk on camera, but told me he hopes to run track again. And he can't wait to be cleared by the doctors and his family. In the studio, Jake Chapman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.